We're going to react to somebody who is bleach washing her dark hair. I hope, I hope this time the bleach wash is used for the good purpose. Not to go too blonde, just to take the dark color out. Today we are going to bleach wash my hair and after that I'm going to dye it red with the Manic Panic Pillar Box Red. That's finally a good idea to do a bleach wash. Not to go too blonde, but to lift one or two shades and then put red. Now I hope that she's not going to blonde before she puts red because it will be orange and it will wash off very easy. So just go to red, but, and don't do the roots. So it's darker red, but let's see. And I'm not going to bleach my hair too much. That's why I'm doing a bleach bath, so it won't lighten up too much. I'm going to show you how my hair looks uh, in daylight. So, because I think it looks very dark on here right now, but it's not that dark. I was blonde a few months ago, so I'm just trying to get rid of the color, which is here in my ends, I think. For me, if you want to have a very strong red, one or two shades, that's it. You're going to start up with mixing the um, bleach wash and for that we're using vanilla bleaching powder such as this then i have a few different developers please 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 say 20 volumes please but i would say volume 20 would be good yes and i'm mixing everything in equal parts i'm going to apply it to towel damp hair not wet towel damp you can also add very hot water to that. Some do it with just with shampoo, some do it with hot water. I want to eat it, but you shouldn't. It's bleach. Don't do that, kids. What? My hair's way too dry. My hair's so damaged. That's very good. She's wetting her hair. Gummy. That's from the bleach you had so many times. It's a good thing that you went dark. It's not so good that you now wanted to go to red and you're going to bleach it again. Yes, of course, it's 20 volumes and it's a bleach wash. That's the best thing you could choose, but it would be better that you stay with dark. If you want to change colors so frequently, maybe invest in a wig because on some point your hair... I try to work in sections, so I'm not really trying to put that on my roots. Oh my god, this is good! It's not the fine sections that I want to see, but it's not bad. I have high hopes. Because my roots are healthy and I want them to stay. Is that the reason why you're not doing the roots? Because that's healthy and you don't want to damage your roots. What about the lengths? You're doing it correct, you don't do the roots and it's going to be darker red. But what reason it is, you're doing it correct. Because I don't mind dark roots. And I think it would look good with the red especially. I thought about going back to blonde because it was just peer pressure why I colored them back to dark hair. Not only peer pressure, uh, pressure only um, my father also. He was really mean to me about the blonde hair. Maybe some of you can relate with having strict parents. He said that normal people don't color their hair. Normal people don't color their hair. Okay. So if you're sensitive to um, fragrance, you shouldn't use the vanilla bleaching products because they're very heavily fragranced. High ammonia. When I bought them, I didn't know that they were so that they are so heavily fragranced. I keep saying that I really, really, really like blonde me and they are renewed and i should make a video of all the new products of blonde me and how to use it and it's not sponsored i'm just loving the product and last time i used them they really burned my scalp smelling it and applying it it burned in the eyes the application is you're going to put the red so it, it should be covered, but it's not that perfect. The first time I bleached my hair, I used the L'Oreal Blonde Me, which I really like. Yes, I told you. Good. Why not now? Bleach is 
expensive. Which bleach do you have? You should go with that one. Really lifts your hair to a lighter color. So I had virgin black hair and when I bleach it for the first time, three rounds of bleach were enough to get it to a very light blonde. And I would love to go back to blonde, but this time I would, I don't know, I would use 20 volume instead of 30 volume developer. Or maybe I could save up and go to a salon and I don't know, have you guys ever used Oloflex? It will not take long before she go to blonde. I think my hair is already lightening up. At least it looks like it. Don't wait too long, rinse it out. You don't want to go to blonde to put red on top of that. It will wash off very quickly and it will be a very bright. Well, you want a bright color, but it washes off very quickly. So don't go too, too light. Normally you stop at the color red. If you are bleaching your hair, you stop at red because that's the first thing you see if you bleach it. You don't see blonde shades, you see red, red, orange, 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 yellow, yellow. Stop at red or red, orange, but don't go further. Wow. Rinse it off. It's really getting really light. I don't know if you can see. The next day. Hello again. So it's the next day and um, this is what my hair turned out like. For me it's already a little bit too far. It's a little bit too dark for my liking up here and I prepared another batch of a bleach pad. No, that's not necessary. The important thing when coloring or bleaching your hair is you have to be confident that it turns out good. Because when you're confident, you will manifest it. So I'm confident that this will turn out good. And I'm confident that you don't need the second bleach wash. You're going to put the red on top of that and it's not going to work. It's too blonde. So this is what my hair looks like now. I think it's gotten a little bit better. So I dried my hair because it said so on the website to apply the dye on dry hair. Yeah, and now I'm putting on my gloves because I don't want to stain my hands or my bathroom. So I laid out paper towels because I don't have anything else to cover my bathroom floor with. Be careful with that direct pigments, it stains. If you go too far, as she is now, you need to do a repigmentation. You need to put red pigments in your hair before you apply a red color because you bleached it too far. If it's too blonde, you need to put some pigments first in your hair and then put the color on top of that. It's repigmentating or pre-pigmentating. If you stopped at red, you don't need to do that. So the second bleach wash, was not necessary and you're going to do two rounds of red to have a nice red or it will be a faded red too many steps yeah <laughs> oh my <gasps> okay okay make sure that you apply it everywhere because if you now take thick sections there will be blonde pieces that are not covered so if you want your hair to be really saturated with dye, you should buy two bottles. I don't know why they put the bottle so small, because it's for a bus cut or something. I don't understand. I don't understand. You always need more than one bottle. Hello, so that's uh, what my hair turned out like. Wow, but there are some pieces that are orange or you didn't take fine sections or it's because the bleach was too far. I like it but it's not as red as I wanted it in some places because I didn't have enough dye left. Or you bleached it too far. I mean it's really nice up in the front and here in the back but if you look at the hair here you can see definitely the application that it's a little bit patchy so I just went to the drugstore and bought some more dye so I bought 
Schwarzka crayons and the color Granite. So the Manic Panic pigments will serve now as repigmentation pigments and now you're going to put some red on top of that. It will be very beautiful because it's already red ready in your hair. So that's what I'm saying, repigmentating your hair if you go too far. Okay, I'm now done with the applying of the dye and I'm going to leave it in for 20 minutes. You can leave it longer, that kind of color, so it will be very deep. Okay, so let's get to the good news. The good news that it did work. It's very beautiful, wow! But not as good as I hoped it to do. What so do you that's want? Why I went to the hair shop and bought two bottles of directions in the color pillar box red. I'm going to put that on my hair. And I don't know. I hope that it will this time turn out the way that I want it to. I have a surprise for you. It will not stay as long as you want. If you want it that vibrant, because the blonde is still underneath there. So it will wash off very quickly because your hair is very porous and it will wash off. If you wash it with cold water, it will be better, but it will wash off very quickly. Okay, so I now wrap my hair, hair with Saran Wrap. Alone the uh, application process took me, took me two hours. So maybe I just leave it for one and a half hours. It's now been three hours and going three hours to wash the dye off Ooh, looks disgusting so hey guys as you can see I am finally done with my hair it's amazing the color suits you so well and the dark roots oh wow and i think it turned out really good um my hair's a little bit oily um please ignore that thank you i think it looks really good i may say so i'm feeling myself I think about dyeing my hair permanently red um, because I really like it and I like how I feel with it and I don't know, it's something else. Please stay with that color for a longer period because it suits you so well. But you said it, it washes off. That's normal. You need to treat it very good because the lengths are very dry. Press one of these videos to see more hair fails and hair tips. Have you learned from this video? Have you been today by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is ciao kus.